Gentlemen. Fair fire on a sonsy face, greet chieftain o' the puddin' race, a boon them all ye tack your place, pinch, tripe or therm. Will are ye worthy o' a grace as langs my arm? Your groan and trenchers there ye fill, your hardies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time o' need, while through your pores the Jews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up with ready slicht, trenching your gushing entrails brachtla on a ditch, and then Oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive, they'll tack the hindmost on they drive, till all their wheels sweet kites belive are bent like drums. And then old Goodman must like to arrive, be thank it, <laughs> hums. <laughs> As ere the hour his French ragout, her olio would still a sue, her fricassee would make her spew, with perfect scunner, looks doon with sneer and scornful view and sick a dinner. Poor deal, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank a good whiplash is neve and knit, or bloody flood and field to dash. Oh, how unfit, but mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clapping his wally neve a bled, he'll make it whistle. And legs and arms and heads will sned like taps a thristle. Ye powers will make mankind your care, and dish them out their villa fair. Old Scotland wants nae skinking wear that japs and luggies. So if you want her grateful prayer, gear her a haggis. I came. Oh, 
most worshipful? Right, worshipful? Worshipful brethren, I give you the haggis. The haggis! The haggis! The haggis. Some folks have meat that can eat, and some can eat that want it. But we have meat, and we can eat. So let the Lord be thanked. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so the meat was uh,